hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix unknown usb device device descriptor request failed in windows 10 or windows 11 let's fix it guys you just need to go to search menu and type device manager click on open it expand the universal serial bus controllers and under usb composite device you need to uninstall the device listed under here just by right click on it and select uninstall device and select uninstall after doing it do the same for other driver as well select uninstall and uninstall it after doing it your mouse and keyboard will not work you just need to hold the power button in your pc and restart your pc after restarting our pc the windows will automatically reinstall the deleted drivers and then you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the same solution guys the same solution you just need to go back to device manager and you just need to right click on the device you have problem with the yellow triangle mark over here just right click on it and select uninstall device and select uninstall and uninstall the device after that you just need to go to start icon and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the third solution guys the third solution go to search menu and type control panel click on open it select view by to large icons and select power options on left side select choose what the power buttons do select change settings that are currently unavailable if you have fast startup option you just need to uncheck the turn on fast startup over here guys just uncheck it after that select save changes and after doing it you just need to select it the selected one change plan settings select change advanced power settings and scroll down you just need to click on the plus icon next to usb settings click on the plus icon usb selective suspend settings set this settings to disabled and then select the plan ok for save changes now you just need to restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to leave a like guys. You can also subscribe me and support me guys. Thank you.